I think um, if God is jealous, if uh, my thesis that God is jealous um, is right, then it has at least three important implications. Uh, the first one has to do with how we read scripture. So usually um, people, when they read about God's being jealous, they reject it as some kind of um, anthropomorphism, right? So this is a way of talking all too humanly about God. If I'm right, we should take those texts literally. It tells us something about God. God is truly jealous on, uh, on some occasions. Um, a second implication um, it has to do with how we think of God. Um, so if, if I'm right that God is a jealous being, um, then I think that, that changes how, how we think of God. So God is someone who loves us so much, apparently, that he becomes jealous um, if we love other beings, other creatures, other things like status or money, uh, more than him. Um, so, it, in a way, it, it makes God more... Um, so, it, it expresses something of God's character. So, we, co we come to know something very important um, and very personal about God. And finally, I think it tells us something about ourselves uh, in relation to God. So, apparently, we can we can hurt God. This is something God has chosen uh, to this. Yeah, God has committed Himself to by creating us and loving us, but also by giving us free will. Right? Given the situation, we can serve or love others and thereby hurt God. And um, that is that is terrible if you think about it. Um, but it is it is also very much the kind of God I encounter in Scripture who makes himself vulnerable on the cross, for instance, by, by sacrificing his own son. I think uh, when you read about jealousy, in, especially in the Old Testament, that's already in accordance with what we read later on in Scripture in the New Testament. God makes himself vulnerable um, by giving us love and creating an opportunity for us, if we want to, to give our love to someone else rather than to him.